How many kids are in your child's class? A report in the Calgary Herald says there is new data to show class sizes are surging in Alberta schools. This despite government targets being set and hundreds of millions of dollars being poured into programs to meet them. The guidelines say class sizes should be 17 children in kindergarten to grade three, 23 children in grades four to six, 25 kids in junior high, 27 teens in high school. Yet the new data shows the number of students in classes and around the province have far exceeded these recommendations. Daniel Smith and Global News Radio. From Global News Radio 770 CHQR joins us now to continue the conversation. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning. We know the money is going in there, so what's happening? Well, that is the big question, isn't it? So I'm going to talk with Janet French today, who is the author of this new study, this new look at it for post for, for, for post media. But just to give you a sense of how far off the numbers are, if you need, if the goal is to have 17 kids in some of those younger grades, 81% uh, of classrooms don't meet that target. And it's interesting to have this kind of check done because politicians love to announce these kinds of initiatives with great fanfare. And then we heard a few years ago a great announcement of $1.2 billion dedicated to reduce class sizes. But the important thing is to go back and check and see if it's actually working, and it's not. So I think there's a couple things going on here. One of them is that there has to be a discussion with the ATA that you can't have both increase in wages and benefits um, as well as some of the uh, improvements in, in the, your total compensation, and then also teach less students. There's a trade-off. If you want to teach fewer students, then you have to moderate those wage, those wage increases. That would be one. The second would be maybe if we're going to have larger class sizes, maybe the solution is rather than, than hiring more teachers, we need to hire more education assistants. If you talk to teachers, one of the things that you will find is that it's the complexity of the classroom that is hard to manage. They can manage larger class sizes, but not if they have kids who have uh, who are English language learners, as well as kids with autism, as well as kids with behavioral needs, as well as all of the other special needs there. If you hire dedicated education assistants in the classroom, then maybe you can to tolerate higher class sizes but I think that that is going to be the uh, the question that parents should be asking is it reasonable to have class sizes this large especially as well when you're getting up into the high school grades 40 45 kids in a math class does that make sense are the kids able to, uh, to learn the way they need to are they able to get the one-on-one -on -one that they need to we're going to get into that a little bit today yeah, it's a big conversation to have. Lots of questions there, Danielle. Uh, thank you for your time. My pleasure. Danielle Smith's show starts at 930 this morning on Global News Radio.